కొట్టేసి మా మామ ఇంటి దగ్గరికి తీసుకెళ్లి వదిలేశారు మా పిన్నయ్య చెప్పారు అప్పుడు బతుకుంటే వాళ్ళ పిన్నయ్య ఇంటికి తీసుకెళ్ళండి లేకపోతే అక్కడ మాకు కాలవన వస్తుంది నీళ్ళు పాతా ఉంటుంది అందులో కేసెస్ వచ్చేయడండి ఎవరినన్నా తీసుకుని వెళ్ళిపోయిందని చెప్తాము అని అంటే మనిషికి ఒక చేయి లేకపోయినా బతుకొచ్చు ఒక కన్ను కను పీకపోయినా బ్లైండ్ అయినా బతుకొచ్చు కాలు లేకపోయినా బతుకొచ్చు అయితే మనిషికి మనసు ఒక బాగు లేకపోతే మనిషి ఉండి వచ్చినట్లే కదా to fear what we don't understand so when man's mind turns against him we are consumed by fear and in our fear we wonder what can be done if anything at least to reverse this tragic event for centuries in india the idea that the wrath of the gods took the form of a mentally ill woman has led to this section of society being shunned dismissed feared and even tortured the claim that those of unsound mind are more likely to be violent and are mostly found in urban india couldn't be more wrong the reality is that the face of mental illness in india is equally rural and as grim as the cracked sun baked earth 
it is that of a caring mother with a bipolar disorder or a farmer going to work every day despite her depression or a girl trying to be educated while fighting her panic attacks they are people who help bring us our grain our milk our cloth and so many of them also struggle with serious mental health problems and more than half of these are women history has taught us that when women commit their voices to positive change the impossible becomes probable how can we ensure that we protect them do they not stand at the core of our society our country is their mental well-being then not our responsibility baraya baro baraya ba baraya baraya baro nanna saradara ninyaru yavuru helu nanna jothegara baraya baraya baro nanna saradara ninyaru yavuru helu nanna jothegara Diagnosed with obsessive compulsive disorder, Divya spends 6 hours bathing and 3 hours praying every day. But she is not content and still feels unclean. Ella vastuglu thumba re pade pade touch madodu matte bagla agithiyo illa adanu touch madodu matte thumba thumba time soap adu neeru ಅದೆಲ್ಲ ಕೈ ವಾಶ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ತುಂಬ ಲೇಟಾಗಿ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ಗೆ ಹೋಗೋದು ಬೆಳಗ್ಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಹೋಗ್ಬಿಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ನಾನೇ ಒಬ್ಬಳೆ ಸಪ್ರೇಟಾಗಿ ಲೇಟಾಗಿ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದು ಬಾತಿಂಗ್ ಮಾಡೋ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಟೈಮ್ ತಗೊಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ಲೇಟ್ ಬಸ್ಸಸ್ ಸಿಗ್ತಾ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಲೇಟಾಗಿ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಆಗೆಲ್ಲರೂ ಹೇಳೋರು ಏ ಬೇಗ ಬರೋದಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ವಾ ಅಂತ ನಾನೇ ಆದಷ್ಟು ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೆ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ನನಗೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಲೇಟಾಗಿ ಹೋಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಿದ್ದು ಹರ್ ಇಲ್ನೆಸ್ ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವೇ ಆಫ್ ಹರ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ and at 24 she worries that she is too old to be married saradara ninyaru yavuru helu nanna jothegara ellayaka oka adathkanta ispirit laadedi taagedi ఇక్కడ నుంచి మా మమ్మీ దగ్గర నుంచి కూడా చాలా కాసులు తీసుకున్నారు అది ఖర్చు చేస్తారు అది సాల్డ్ అన్నట్టు ఇంకా కట్నం కావాలి మాకు కట్నము బంగారము ఇంకా పంపించండి అప్పుడే మీ కూతురుని పంపించండి లేకపోతే మాకు వద్దన్నారు నాకు పిల్లలు వద్దు నువ్వు వద్దు నాకు బిడ్డలు కావాలంటే ఇట్లాంటి వాళ్ళు పది జనాన్ని పుట్టించుకుంటాను నేను కావాలితే నాకు మీరు ఎవరు వద్దు అని అంటారు ఇప్పుడు రెండు రోజుల ముందరే తెలిసింది నాకు పెళ్లి చేసుకున్నారని అప్పుడు ఏం ఫీలింగ్ లేదండి అదే వాడు ఇట్లు చేసేదానికి ఇక్కడ తీసుకొచ్చి నేను ఇంక ఇక్కడ పెట్టుకున్నాను ఇంకేం చేయాలి చెప్పు ఇప్పుడు అక్కడ ఇడిచిపెట్టేస్తే వాడు చంపేస్తాడు ఫస్ట్ ఇప్పుడు ఇక్కడ నుంచి ఇక్కడ తర్వాత తలబద్దలు కొట్టేశాడు తలనొప్పి ఎక్కువగా ఎవరుగా వస్తూ ఉండేది తలనొప్పి వస్తే మాత్రం ఏం పనిచేసేది కాదు మెదలకుండగా పడుకునేది మనం మాట్లాడిస్తే కూడా మాట్లాడేది కాదు వాళ్ళ అమ్మని కొట్టింది చేసింది అంతా వాడు వాళ్ళ దగ్గర ఉన్నాడు కదా వాళ్ళ అమ్మ దగ్గర అంతా చూసి చేసి బెదిరిపోయాడు వాడు వాళ్ళ అమ్మని తగల పగల కొట్టినప్పుడు అయితే నాలుగు రోజులు అసలు మాట రాలేదు వాడికి కన్యాకుమారి ఇస్ ట్వంటీ సిక్స్ అండ్ సఫర్స్ ఫ్రమ్ డిస్ టైమియా సూయిసైడల్ సివియర్లీ డిప్రెస్డ్ అండ్ ఫియర్ఫుల్ ఆఫ్ హ్యూమన్ కాంటాక్ట్ షీ బిలీవ్డ్ షీ వాజ్ అ థ్రెట్ టు హర్ సెల్ఫ్ అండ్ హర్ చిల్డ్రన్ ఎవరన్నా వస్తే వాళ్ళ మీద తగిలేదే ఎవరన్నా ఇంటికి వస్తే వాళ్ళ మీద కచ్చ కచ్చ కచ్చన పోడిసేది ఇంట్లో వాళ్ళ మీద కూడాను మాట్లాడదు కలకుండా ఉండి పోసేది నా మీద అయితే ఇంకా జాస్తే వాళ్ళ కొడుకు వాళ్ళ మొగుడు వస్తే కలకుండా అయిపోను శాంతమ్మ వాజ్ ఫియర్ఫుల్ ఆఫ్ హర్ సరౌండింగ్స్ షీ వుడ్ ఫిజికలీ అబ్యూజ్ హర్ ఫ్యామిలీ అండ్ ఎనీ వన్ హూ విజిటెడ్ హర్ హోమ్ Her family then decided that the only cure for her psychosis 
was to use black magic, where god men would bang her head against a wall to drive out the ghosts within. How much really reaches the women in the rural communities, it's questionable. I don't know how effective is our own um, uh, national mental health program and what is actually being delivered, I don't think so. I don't know, uh, is it really effective? And second is, is there a, is there a uh, method to assess that? I don't think so. Intervention through medical care can make a change and a difference to a society. Uh, because the woman's health stands at the core of the family, the family stands at the core of the village, the village stands at the core of our society. And that's where this whole idea for the Mansi story germinated. In rural southern India, 30 kilometers outside Bangalore, in a village called Mugulur, the state of women's mental health is finally changing. In 2002, the Rotary Club of Columbia, the Rotary Foundation, and the Rotary Club of Bangalore Midtown undertook the task of providing mental health services to women in this region through a partnership with St. John's Medical College Hospital, Bangalore. Manasi began as a project to screen women from villages for psychiatric illnesses and to offer them treatment closer to home. All this is carried out by local female health workers, well versed in the language and culture of the region and trained at the medical school. Mansi's objective was clear. It was to create an affordable and accessible integrated mental and primary care program for indigent women in the region. Whatever that we do here, we, have, we, have, we do with empathy and with a singular purpose of empowerment. So empathy and empowerment are our, uh, is a philosophy of Manasik uh, program. Our resident medical officer of the center organizes the clinic along with our health workers here. And we have uh, our medical interns who take charge of the drug dispensing, which is a very key function of the clinic. This program has various psychiatrists coming in on Fridays, which I think is again very unique. Every client who gets enrolled in the program would get a book started in their name and a small card with the unique number of the patient on the card. The doctor documents all his findings in that book. Every time the patient comes to us, the patient is expected to show this card to us and we retrieve the book from our uh, medical records and present it to the psychiatrist. All the records, the information that we collect from the patient, which is documented in the records, get transferred into the database. For the program to be relevant and appropriate, psychiatrists had to collaborate with community medicine physicians who work with the villagers and understand their pattern of illness and recovery. The program devised educational street plays during village festivals. Historically and culturally, this is an accepted method of teaching and uses entertainment to draw villagers from everywhere. Receptivity is greater during such festivities and normal work routines are not interrupted. 
The villagers were also educated about total maternal and child health. After being on medication for some time, Shantama's family found that she was returning to normalcy and decided to stop treatment. This is a common misconception. While it may seem reasonable to stop medication, one in two people will relapse following abrupt discontinuation of treatment. There is evidence that patients without continued care, without no support of medication and the, the other supportive care that we are providing here, a person with mental illness will deteriorate. Manasi's continuum of care and commitment played a significant role in bringing Shantama back to taking her medication. Her family was also educated on the ill effects of stopping treatment. Shantama has been treated for her mental illness for nine years now. And with the right treatment and support, she is finally showing signs of recovery. Apart from her medication, a crucial part of Divya's treatment is the cognitive behavioural therapy administered to her by the health workers. This involves repeated exposure to the source of her obsession. She is then asked to refrain from the compulsive behaviour that she would usually resort to to reduce her anxiety. Divya believes that she will soon be cured of her disorder. As her condition improves, her hopes of finding her Prince Charming grow every day. Hundred percent, eighty percent, okay. The okay. But now, definitely, now clear Historically, people with mental illness have been at the risk of social exclusion and discrimination in every walk of life. Kanya Kumari is one of Manasi's greatest success stories. She has transcended the barriers of fear and hopelessness and has taken responsibility for her own well-being and that of her children. Her new career has given her a sense of identity, self-worth and dignity. After almost a decade of treatment, Kanya Kumari is confident and believes that she is now able to persevere through any uncertainty and setbacks she might face. Her newfound strength in recovery has given her family the possibility of a future of hope, change 
and happiness. This would not have been possible without these health workers who have been so dedicated and found then within themselves satisfaction in delivering this care. For the care that they deliver, if you see them in action, is from their heart and they do truly do it and it is that that has made a difference to the uh, patients. These women are the heroes of the Manasi dream. They have been able to cut through the boundaries of a formal healthcare system and move beyond to an approach that addresses issues within their own social fabric as part of treatment for a larger community. They play the role of peer educator, role model and counsellor. They follow up tirelessly with those patients who are apprehensive and fearful of treatment. They keep an eye out for any changes in behaviour, feelings and thought process of every patient under their care. Most importantly, they are there to listen and simply be a friend. Treatment tagondi ro the alla aur akka pakkad mane aur kudano namun nodi takshna ni yur mansi yur bandro mansi health workers bharta aur an anta aur ay health tarayga alligal gudega aur ay namge nodi gurti dista astmatige attu vashe dalle badla vane agide. Through these health heroes, the program encourages female participation and ensures empowerment. Manasi has finally given so many women a voice and a safe place. The Mansi story of women's mental health and the way it has succeeded in delivering actual, uh, you know, actual solutions to a family, to the larger community, to the society, to a village is in fact something that needs to be taken away from here and do something about it in your village, in your town, in your society, because this can be done by you anywhere, anytime. The Manasi story has just begun with a few thousand women in a few hundred villages. The time has come for each one of us to invest in the mental health of our country. And the only place to start is with our women. For in their hands and in their happiness lies our future.